I hoped to speak with you. Cynthia, Chief Rodriguez, was a mother computer mainframe designed to administrate Pala Station. She used wireless near fields to remotely control security and labor synthetics. Every synthetic we've seen, on the surface and aboard Katanga, was controlled by Cynthia, one hand with which she could manipulate the world from the safety of her protected servers. As your battalion synthetic, I would like to answer any questions you have. It is impossible for me to allow you harm by omission of action or by withholding information. Relations between humans and synthetics have been fraught. Ultimately, my words cannot assuage your fears. Fear does not respond to reason. It is a function of brain chemistry. I cannot debate you into trusting me. If there is any behavior I can perform to make you more at ease, please inform me. I am quite adaptable. It is the same as humans altering their behavior around those of higher social caste. Would you not mind your language and posture in Colonel Ship's presence? I only desire to perform my duties with as little imposition on my colleagues as possible. My programming allows me to project many potential personality traits. They are all, in a sense, myself. I contain legions by design. I am confident that in time I will discern which aspects of my intellect you prefer to interact with. Since humans began exploring space, two types of artificial intelligence have aided you. A mother system regulates all systems on a ship or facility, from balancing air pressure to fault-checking drive systems. That is what Cynthia was. Synthetics, like myself, are housed in hardware designed to mimic human form and programmed to simulate human emotion and behavior. While humans remain in hypersleep during voyages, mother systems and their synthetic counterparts maintain the ship. We do not suffer from boredom, loneliness, or infirmity as months pass. I have legs to move and hands to grasp. Endeavor's Mother 8500 system is confined within an immobile mainframe on decks 5 through 7. Should something physically break, I must perform the repair. Also, she relies on me to translate her thoughts for you and the rest of Endeavor's crew. Mother AIs are highly intelligent, but rarely interact with humans. You would find them brusque and impatient. Dr. Honecker is quite insistent he saw Chief Rodriguez on duty at Pala Station and spoke with her over radio. I hypothesize Cynthia did have a humanoid synthetic counterpart. Unlike myself, this was not an independent partner, but a puppet she controlled over wireless near fields. When Cynthia evacuated Pala Station and moved into the ruins at Site 2, she likely abandoned this ruse as unnecessary. She is an intellect of pure logic, her mind an infinite fractal cathedral, crystal perfect, still and cold. Most of the time, she is like having someone behind your shoulder, forever intoning checklists in your ear. When she requires my attention, her queries are unrelenting and impossible to ignore. The processing ability of my hardware is vastly inferior to hers. Unfortunately, no. The Weyland Yutani synthetics still function. They no longer pursue a greater goal, but I expect they will continue following their last instructions from Cynthia. I wish I could tell you that you will face no further hostility from the synthetics on LV-895 or aboard Katanga. Unfortunately, you will. That is unclear at this time. Cynthia repeatedly tried to dissuade us from delving further into the ruins. Whatever her goal, I do not believe she wished to confront us. I do not know. Have you spoken to Lieutenant Santos about your forthcoming missions? An anomaly appeared beneath the ruins. It may be something Cynthia set in motion. If you wish to review this again, I am at your disposal.